that ain't a big damn secret. Issue other nations. It ain't just the white man. Issue other nations. The so-called white man. Because he's red like the damn devil. He's not white. That's not a white man. That's a red man. A pink man. A peach man. Go ahead, Uncle. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. So we're going to get rest. Right? Straight up rest from our sorrows. What's, what's to be sorry about, right? Can't drive a car. Can't get a damn job. Right? Can't keep some damn change in your pocket every, every time you turn around. The white man's got a new law to take money out your pocket. Right? Go ahead. And from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. From our fear and the hard bondage what we were made to serve. So these crackers can run up and down DC and not have to worry about anything. Right? We serve hard bondage in America so white people can have it good today. Because that's what their forefathers were setting us up for. Oh no, you got a chance now, black man. You can do whatever you want. That's garbage. That's a lie. That's a pipe dream. You, you really think their plan was to let us go? That's what you think? A couple of you got a couple government jobs and now there's no more racism in America? Right. There's no more slavery? Right? The white man get a little a, a, a car he drives on the damn weekend, a little sports car. My father had to break his ass so he could drive that car. Right. Right? Somebody didn't get fed that night. So he could withdraw his little twenty, forty thousand dollars and buy a little garbage car. Right? Right. Some kid went home. Some mother didn't, wasn't able to provide. Some father wasn't able to provide. Right? Because he took his stock options and bought himself a little weekend car. Right? So Bank of America can flourish from all the rape, robbery, and, and, and assault and slavery that they did to my people. Right? The blacks, native, so-called blacks, so-called Native Americans and Hispanics. Of Negroid and Indian descent. Let me get that out. It's the book of Leviticus. So we're separate. Hold on. The point is we're separate. And you better start acting like you're separate. Or you're going to be judged with America. You're going to be judged with this place. That's good. Oh, 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 look at this. And this is why we, I'm glad we separate. Bring that out. I'm glad we separate. I'll be Damn if I had to go into slavery to dress like these guys. I'd be dead. Go ahead. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 26. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy, and have severed you from other people. Right. So we don't have to look run around looking like that, black man. I know some black man uh, that they're about to meet up with that's dressed just like them. I hope I wish he could hear this. You don't have to be like Billy and Bobby and Kirsten. You can be yourself, which is the greatest people on the face of the earth. That's right, brother. Go ahead. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye shall be mine. Right, because we belong to him. You signed a contract in blood. Right. Right? There's no annoying, uh, 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 there's no ending that contract. There's no annoying it. Right? <laughs> you ain't getting out of that. Mr. So-called black man, Mr. So-called so -called black woman, so-called native, so-called Hispanic, you're not getting out of a blood covenant. It's a permanent covenant. And the one that's going to replace it, you ain't getting out of it either. Right? right? There's a clause in the first one for the second one. Right. Go ahead. Chapter, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 2. 
Thou art an holy people. What are we? Thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Here we go again. This is the third time we read this. But God loves everybody. Right? He loves, he loves these guys right here, right? Be, for their bank accounts. Right? Go ahead. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a particular people unto himself. Above all nations that are upon the earth. Here we go again. Above all nations. No, some nations. Read it right up. Above all nations that are upon the earth. Above all nations. Now get offended, so-called black man, black woman. Get offended. You want to call us race, racism, racist, racisms? Right? Read it again. Huh? Read it from the top. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 2. Here, here's, your, here's your God, the God of the Bible. What book are you reading, huh? KJV. KJV. What, what's, the book, what's the book title? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Right? Yeah, I smell thought. I smell whore. Go ahead. <laughs> I smell thought. I smell whore. That's right. If the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. Get the hell off. Go ahead. Chapter 14, verse 2. But thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself. Right, not a thought or a whore. That's right. If the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. If you're not a thought and you ain't no whore, keep stepping. Obviously you are offended because you are. It's that simple. Read out again, huh? Above all nations that are upon the earth. So we're above all you nations, you wicked, dirty, disgusting people. Right. That's right, we're above you. Right. Because God said it, not Karathazar right. Gabar. The Most High God said it. And he don't give a damn about your damn riches and your might. Right? He chose a people, that's the end of, the, that's it. You could close the damn book on that one. That's how he feels about you damn rich bastards. Go ahead. Judas uh, 9 and 11. That's why they got to keep us in sin. This is why they got to keep us sinning. Right? Black man get a little bit of money. No more racism in America. Give me a break. You niggas are jokes. You degree, four degree, five, six, seven degree niggas are jokes. Let me get that. The book of Judah, chapter 9 and verse 11. For thy power standeth not in multitude, nor thy might in strong men. So it ain't in the United States military. Right. God doesn't fight for you. Let's see who he fights for. Go ahead. For thou art a God of the afflicted. Of who? For thou art God of the afflicted. I see nothing but the afflicted up and down the street, man. And I don't see no white crackheads. Right? I don't see no damn white people drug and strung out or, or, or have some type of medical issue where they can't even afford rent. They got to live on the street now. Right. right? I see white people in D.C. doing real good. Uh, right? Go ahead. For thy power standeth not in multitude, nor thy might in strong men. Right. For thou art a God of the afflicted and helper of the oppressed and upholder of the weak. Upholder of the weak, man. Last I checked, you ain't got no might to do anything, black man. You got to march down the damn street and throw a temper tantrum right. just to get half of a damn law pass. Right? It's got to be 10,000 of you wicked niggas running up and down the street talking about some save me, Mr. White Man, from Mr. White Man. Right? right. right? Save me, Mr. White Man, from Mr. White Man. How does that sound? Sounds real stupid to me. Go ahead. And helper of the oppressed, an upholder of the weak, a protector of the forlorn, a savior of them that are without hope. A savior of them without hope. If an alien race was looking in on the earth, they would say, you blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, I don't know how the hell y'all keep going. Right. 
There is no way I would left. I would have left. I would have killed myself or left the damn planet. There is no way. Y'all should be still functioning in this place that hates your guts. How do you do it? There'd be studies being performed. Motherfucker, cats would be getting snatched up. Let's analyze his brain. Why, why is he still here being oppressed? Right? Let me get... Uh, Let me get um, Let me get second edge is 5 or 25. Let's keep going with the second. Let me get uh Joel 2 and 27. And let me get uh let me get Psalms 135 verse start at verse 4. Psalms 135 start at verse 4. Yeah. Go ahead. The book of Second Nedges, chapter 5 and verse 25. And all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. And of all builded cities, thou hast hollowed Zion unto thyself. That's right. And of all thy fowls thou created, thou hast named thee one dove. And all the cattle that I made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. So God has favorite things upon this earth, man. All his favorite things are literally right here on the earth. They ain't in space, okay? He's got a favorite, uh, 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 excuse me, let me, not, let me not say planet, right? Right? Dealing with a bunch of morons. Let me not say planet. They're called stars, Ock. They're not called planets, right? Go ahead. And amongst all the multitudes of peoples, and out of all the disgusting, wicked people, go ahead. Thou has got indeed one people. So God has one people. Right? You want to call us racist? Right? You Negroes on the corner don't know what you're talking about? Right? God has one people. And he severed them from all other people. Go ahead. And unto this people whom thou lovest and gavest this so like it. And thou gave us a law that is approved of all. So everybody's stolen from our law. That's why the white man has a judicial system. Right? Because he learned from the Jews how to conduct himself not like a cave beast, but a somewhat of a civilized, disgusting beast. That's right, I can't give them all. You're not civilized at all. Just because you learn how to wash your behind and brush your teeth. You're still a damn beast. That's right. You just snatched some land, I think yesterday, from the natives. The natives. You're still a disgusting pig of an animal. Let me get that. The book of Psalms, chapter 135, verse 4. So we are that peculiar people. Whether you want to like it, believe it, understand it or not. Right? Because we fit the signs and the prophecies. Right? We fit the phenotype. Right? We fit the talent. We fit the look. Right? Not that Israel has a specific look nowadays. But damn it, we fit it. We fit it all. Go ahead. For the Lord has chosen Jacob unto himself. Lord is? More of this, I, we, I've chosen Jacob, severed Jacob, Jacob's holy, the Israelites are holy. How many more of these scriptures we got to bring out? Go ahead. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. So we're that peculiar treasure. The most high God only loves his people. When are y'all going to get that through your thick skulls? God doesn't love everybody. Right, right. Because some of you deserve death and destruction. That's what you're going to get because that's what you deserve. You're walking on stolen land. All right? You inherited stolen land. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mike Oliver. Bring that up. This is 
the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. No, he's in the midst of everybody on the face of the earth. In the midst of Israel. Read it right out. That I am in the midst of Israel. Well, I guess that's what it's saying. Last I checked, ain't no white, ain't no so-called whole nation of white people Israelites. Right. Go ahead. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And how many, how many people? How many? And none else. Oh, I read it right. There's got to be more. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And nobody else. It's simple. She's hearing the word. Yeah, she's hearing the word. That's why she keeps going back and forth. Go ahead, the revelations. Let me get the kingdom. Who is the kingdom of God for? Start at verse uh, one, and then jump down to twelve. Y'all got time for the word, brothers and sisters? I want to know. Y'all not curious of who you are, right? In, the, in America, when the, when the world's about to end, probably in the next couple weeks. Go ahead, let's find out who, who the kingdom of heaven is for. Right. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Chapter 12, right? Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a great, had a wall great and high. He had a wall great and high. Go ahead. And had 12 gates. And, that, and in this city, it had 12 fenced gates. Fenced security gates. Right? Opposite of what we have now because we ain't got no security. Right? You think uh, Creflo Dollar and uh, TD Snakes is any type of protection, you're sadly mistaken. Go ahead. And that the gates, 12 angels, more security, more protection. You got a great wall, uh, gates, and you got security at the gate. Go ahead. And the name.